everyone. Hundreds of teachers and those aspiring to be one showed up at a job fair today in Austin. Many local districts were there taking resumes even though they're laying off their own teachers. Our Aaron Cargill is live at the Frank Irwin Center in downtown Austin with the latest on this. Aaron. Good afternoon, Chris and Sally. The University of Texas puts on this teacher job fair twice a year, every year, every fall and spring. And there were about 500 people that walked through these doors earlier today. Now, there were actually about 300 more at the job fair they held last spring. And what's interesting, many local districts with hiring freezes and job cuts were here talking to applicants and taking resumes. Those include Austin ISD, Lake Travis, San Marcos, Maynard, Taylor, and Elgin. Now, Austin ISD told me while they are still looking to place around 800 people who could get laid off, they still have to keep a candidate pool, and they want to build those relationships now for when things get better, and they are looking for outside hires. Now, there were a lot of college students here about to graduate who were looking for jobs. One married couple we spoke with drove all the way in from Kansas. Their future depends on both of them finding jobs. They're trying to stay positive and bring something to the table school districts haven't seen before. They were a bit disappointed with the actual number of districts here hiring right now. Didn't really seem like there was too many places that were hiring or expecting hiring until later. It's a lot of drop off your resume and check with the school to see what openings they have. Now, after a brief lunch break, recruiters are actually going to be calling back some of the applicants they spoke with to sit down for interviews. That couple we spoke with actually did get a call back from a district in Nebraska, so they'll be back here for that. We told there are there are some South Texas districts who are actually hiring on the spot today for bilingual math and science positions. For now, we're live in downtown Austin, Aaron Cargill, KXA and Austin News. Aaron, thank you.